Here's something I picked up about nine years ago at, I believe it was Walgreens. Some more junk from my modern collection. Nostalgic Vacuum Tube AM FM Radio. Lifelong Classic. Of course, this is not a real vacuum tube radio. It's a cheap Chinese made AM FM radio with little LED lights on the top to make it look like vacuum tubes. I just bought this for the novelty factor. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. It's pretty much been in the box for the past nine years. The only time I ever turned it on was when I first got it and and then yesterday whenever I pulled it off the shelf and was thinking about making a video see I kept it inside the plastic wrap all these years here is the original instruction manual here is the original warranty card and surprisingly this has a had a one year warranty on it and here's the receipt where I bought the thing. Yep. Well, I was trying to look on here to see where I got it, but... Yep, I bought it at Walgreens on June the 1st of 2003. Okay, let's pull this thing out of the plastic and see what we've got here. Okay, here you go. Off-on volume knob, tuning control, band switch is on the, bo on the bottom. And of course there's your battery compartment. It runs off of four AA batteries. And like I said, all these so-called vacuum tubes are, are, are little, F, little LED lights down in there to make it look like a tube. This really looks more like a 50s or early 60s hi-fi amplifier chassis than it does a radio. Alright, let's turn it on AM and see what happens. Have my SS Tran AM transmitter on and it's so powerful that I'm that I'm picking up the the signal all across the dial it's overriding everything else so let's turn off the transmitter all right I'm here in one of the strong local stations that I'm across the dial I don't know how well you can hear that. They get a big crowd stuff, and I'm just not really over impressed. I mean, this is a team I saw Missouri in person whip last. Ten ten a.m. I believe. Nope, that was nine ten. This is ten ten. Or is it? Nope, it's thirteen ninety. Yeah, this is a very unselective radio. The station's pretty much. Okay, there's 1450. I haven't seen any of them because 1390. Honda has two. Toyota has two. Ford has as the only American. I believe that's 1010. Now this is just me personally. And this is 910. And of course you can still hear 910. As you tune further down the dial, so this this radio pretty much has no selectivity. In fact, I believe I read somewhere on the internet where the AM section of these radios is actually a TRF design. It's not even a superhead, so that would explain the poor selectivity. Okay, let's see how FM does. Here's our FM antenna. Bye-bye. 
loud like that. I haven't noticed. See, the FM tuning is very touchy. sure the circuit of this radio consists of a single IC chip so let's open this thing up and have a look at the inside okay as I suspected this does have a couple IC chips in it this one is an LS 1800L which I suspect probably takes care of the actual radio tuning and then there's another IC chip in here that the number on the board is LS7368P so I'll have to look those up and see what they are but there's the chassis as you can see not much to it little cheap speaker little small ferrite bar antenna little miniature tuning capacitor there's a couple of IC chips and two a bunch of electrolytic capacitors and that's about it Okay, there you go. There's the cheap $10 Chinese vacuum tube radio, if you will. A few years ago, I saw one of these on eBay, and somebody actually bought it for some stupidly ridiculous price. I want to say like 30 or 40 bucks, and I'm thinking if somebody offered me that for this radio, they'd own it in a New York second. Okay, there you go. One of the few radios from my modern collection. Okay, thanks for watching. More to come later.